Can you just tell me a little bit about how you found Sit Up and Listen? Uh, what motivated you to uh, call up Sit Up and Listen? Gladly. I bumped into Mona out in the park. I saw her working with some other dogs and contacted her because I had a, a 10 month, 10 and a half month old spaniel who was a little bit off the chain and I needed help and guidance and obedience. I lived down in the city and I didn't want my puppy running out into the street. I needed quick command work. Uh, what sort of uh, breeding line is she from? She's a field bred English Cocker Spaniel. So she's a bred to be a hunter. Mm -hmm. So she follows her nose and her eyesight. She sees a bug flying. She thinks it's something that she needs to bring back. How was she in terms of uh, before training? Was she like a um, maniac type dog or was she very calm? And That's a little bit of an understatement. She was uh, just uh, insane with joy. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All over the place, uncontrollable, mm -hmm. lovable little creature, and uh, wouldn't have her any of her other way. But I needed to save her from herself from doing any damage, mm -hmm. i.e., running out into the street. The front door was left open, or you opened it up to get a UPS delivery. What did Reese do? She'd pop out and a run left, right, straight, center, forward. And if there was a bird, or a cat, or a chipmunk, Naturally, she'd go for If you it. called her, would she come back? No, it was eventually. How is she now after training? She's much better. Uh, she has a whole, a whole working vocabulary, uh, which includes <laughs> Before training and now after, uh, has it been an enhancement to your lifestyle? Well, yeah, well, it's given me a peace of mind. I don't have to worry about her hurting herself. But she's still a happy pup, but she'll stay in her place. Would you recommend sit up and listen training to other customers? Oh, absolutely. I've got a, a stack full of business cards. I'm, I'm happy to pass along to my friends or anybody that I tell about it.